It was amazing. It was amazing. It was wonderful. Yes, sir. Can you just take us through the, the process of going into the portal and talking to Coach Bates and ending up at Oklahoma? Um, well, when I, my first conversation, um, when I talked to Coach Bates and Coach V, um, you know, it's a defensive minded team. So um, that was something that I wanted to be a part of. And um, with Coach Bates, like his values and things like that. Um, and his reputation would, would bring would send the people to the NFL. So that was another thing that made me want to come here. It's been amazing so far. What were you looking for in your next landing spot? What was I looking for? Well, first of all, I was looking for a place that I can, it can feel like home. Um, a place where it's a good competitive culture. Uh, a place where we're on the rise, like this place is on the rise. And um, just like a winning, a winning culture, that's really what I want to be a part of. You, you, you've been okay. through the transfer process yes, before from Kansas to Tennessee. Yes, sir. Did that kind of prepare you for what to expect when you went in the portal this time? Yes, sir, it did. Um, it definitely it definitely helped me um, with preparing to go in there again because, I mean, you're going to another place, so, I mean, you got to buckle back down again, you know. I mean, you never ease up, but, like, when you're going to another system, like, you got to learn all the plays, you know. You got to compete from every – and everything you do, so like it, it compact, it prepared me. You may know that transfer so. process can be pretty hectic and yes, real quick. Did the fact that you've been through it before kind of slow things down and make it easier for you this time? Yeah. Yes, sir, it did. Um, it definitely did. Um, like but being through it once, like you know, you hear everybody, you hear, you know what everybody gonna say. So I mean, you can, you can kind of sense and feel like what's really the was really real and was fake. So, yes, sir. What you mentioned some those of the conversations like with Coach Bates. On um, some of the conversations with Coach Bates. Yeah, um, really quick, I mean, you know, he, he wanted you and you wanted to. Yes, sir. What he had to offer, kind of thing. Yes, sir. It was um, it was amazing conversations. Um, we we talked for a minute. Um, actually, um, just telling me about the scheme and telling me like what they what they want to see out of me and things like that. So, yes, yeah, so I really, I really loved it. Along, oh, I'm sorry. Along, along those lines, what did they maybe tell you about their expectations for you, or what your skill set could add to, to the defense here? Um, their expectations to dominate. Um, I, that's what I want to do, and that's what I'm going to do. Um, so to dominate, and they was, they already know, like they were saying, I dominated in the Big 12 before I dominated in the SEC, so I like, come here and dominate again. So that's what they want to see, and that's what I'm gonna give them. Can you elaborate maybe on your how your experience at Tennessee and Kansas, uh, Tennessee in particular because it's most recent, how that's going to help you here, translate here? Yes, sir. Um, it's going to help me here by – it was the SEC, so, I mean, everything, you know what I'm saying, everything's bigger, faster, mm -hmm. things like that. Um, and just the coaching styles, um, both Coach V and Coach Hype, they're real player-oriented coaches. And then both of my D-line coaches, like I just came from riding the garden, so he taught me some great things, and um, also now I'm here with Coach Bates with another great D-line coach, so he's going to teach me some great things. He already taught me a lot of great things while I've been here so far. What was it like on Coach Garner's tough love approach? <laughs> it's different, but it brings the best out of you. It definitely brings the best out of you. And that's how I was taught in high school also, so it definitely brings the best out of you. What's been the process of, of actually getting on campus, you know, after you decided to commit here? What's it been like? Has anything stood out to you? Has anything surprised you in any way? Um, I didn't know that OKC was this close to yeah, – <laughs> I, I had no idea that they were even close to each other. But um, I love the city, um, the environment, everything. Everybody's welcoming. Everybody's nice, cool, SR and that. Everything's been amazing so far. Do you have a favorite place to, to eat or, or go or anything yet? Um. They told me I'd be pronouncing it wrong, but the Mama Cabos, Mama Cabos, yeah. you know, you know yeah. the um, La Salle place right on the corner. <laughs> yes, sir, it's pretty good. I love that. You got a go-to, got a go-to meal there or anything yet? The um, it's the one. I think it's number fourteen. It has the. It's the only, one of the only two with Asai in there, and I get um blueberries <laughs> and banana on top of it. You you haven't been here very long. Have you gotten to know your teammates very well? Yes, sir, I have. I got to know. I got to know a lot of them. Yes, sir. Um, how's that going to evolve or change? You because you've been through this before. Yes, sir. Um, relocating. How's that going to change when you guys put the pads on and start? You know the, the whole camp experience. Um, camp to me it's a more of a like every you gonna get everybody best every day and um so when when it comes on like I feel like everybody's tighter I guess during that time because it's nothing but football yeah. and means and things like that so I feel like. It'll help us bond more in the things that how we 
eat, like how they got the dining hall set up and stuff like that, how we eat at the table with each other and stuff like that. So yes, sir, that'll definitely be easy, pretty easy, I feel like, yes, sir. A little bit of time you've been here, who've been some of the other guys in the that D tackle room that have impressed you in the summer workouts and things like that? Um, P, Philip, Philip, um, Jonah, uh, Jonah, <laughs> uh, was Cole, JK, Jordan Kelly, everybody really, like everybody, yeah. everybody come in willing to work every day and ready to work. And that's the main thing that you need. You don't need any slacker. So everybody's been working, working their butts off. There's a lot of talk about Venable's staff and his uh, family atmosphere. Does that show for a new guy? You step yes, in here and you feel it? Yes, sir. You feel it all the way, all the way. Like I said earlier, um, like it's definitely a family atmosphere here. Like everybody, you can actually feel the love and feel the care. Everybody cares about you. It's just not, they don't care only about football, you know, um, like with the Soul Mission program, um, like, and the FCA and things like that. Like they bring things in to develop you more as a man and more than football. How do you feel like your experience at Tennessee going up against Alabama's offensive line in Georgia? So how do you feel like that prepared you for the number of Well, I feel like it prepared me amazing, tremendously. Um, I mean, you're going against the best of the best. So, I mean, and like here, that's the best of the best too, you know. So, I mean, I'm just be ready to compete every Saturday. What do you bring as a defensive line? What's your strength? Um, I'm more, I like being aggressive. Um, I'm more labeled as a run stopper, but I've been working on my pass rush skills lately. So, yes, sir, I'm gonna definitely show that I'm more of a pass rusher too, so I'll be able to do both. When you were deciding Oklahoma, did you kind of research what they needed? I mean, you had some other schools and you said, hey, they need what I'm offering, what, what attracted you to Oklahoma besides just the, the family atmosphere? Um, Coach Bates and Coach V, like it's a defensive minded team. Um, Coach V is one of the greatest defensive coordinators it is in, the, in college football. So yes, sir, that, that made me, like I know about his record, so that attracted me more. And then with Coach Bates with his history of the guys he put in the NFL, that attracted me and it was like the perfect fit. You see yourself jumping that lineup this season? I see myself competing every day. I'm going to compete every day to do what I got to do. Yes, sir. What has stood out to you maybe about the, the scheme? I know it's I know it's been a short amount of time, but just the scheme here, maybe how you can fit into it. Has it been a fast learning curve? Just what's that process been like? I mean, a lot of – I've been to two other places, so, I mean, a lot of the things are kind of the same, but it's just different terminology and different ways of doing it. So, I mean, it's definitely been a quick learning process. One of the things that Coach Venables and Coach Roof both mentioned earlier is that you've come in and become, or you've been a really great teammate from the jump and kind of established yourself as a leader. How much was that your mindset, and how much has maybe your experience at other places helped in that regard? Um, my mindset is to always just lead by example. Um, I mean that's that's why my mom taught me to lead by example. So, I mean the things I do, um, people just follow, you know. And so, yes, sir. And like I and I want to be. That, that piece of the team where people can lean on because I, I'm older now, you know, so I want to be that person that people can lean on and I can teach them from my experiences that I had. Yes, sir. You're so big. That's probably why nobody wants to talk about you.